Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will talk about obtaining lithium batteries from damaged battery packs from laptops. As you know, one of the principal problems with laptops is the battery. After a few years, the battery has lost capacity, only lasts a few minutes, and we need to charge again. Or in some cases, uh, the battery is not working. You connect your charger and the battery won't take the charge or the system sends a message, uh, message that your battery is not working. So you need to change your battery. And the question is, if we can take one damaged battery pack from a laptop and obtain good lithium cells from it. Because inside these packs, you will find 18650 batteries, lithium ion batteries, such as these ones, that you can use for many, many other projects. And if your laptop is from a good brand, you will get quality cells. This one, for example, is a Samsung battery. So it is a good cell unlike this battery that I have here that says that it is 8800 milliamp hours but of course that is not true this battery has only 500 milliamp hours and the batteries that come with the laptop battery packs normally have a capacity between 12, uh, 2200 and 2800 milliamp hours so they are quality cells and will be very good if we can obtain good cells from bad battery packs The answer is yes, in most cases we can find good cells in these dead battery packs. And why is that? Well, let me show you how these battery packs are made. <clears throat> this is the most common configuration. It is a 3S2P and that means that we have these two cells are in parallel, these two in parallel and these two in parallel and the three parallel packs are connected in series. So this is 3S2P, three series of two parallel packs. And also we have this little circuit here, the BMS or battery management system. And what this circuit does is to manage the charge and discharge of the battery. When you are charging your batteries, this module looks that the voltage at each cell does not exceed 4.2 volts, which is the maximum voltage for a lithium ion battery. So it cuts the charging process when you reach that voltage. Also, when you are using your battery and the cells are discharging, this BMS module prevents over discharge of your battery. When the voltage is low, around 3 volts, the BMS cuts the battery so that the cells will not be over discharged. Now, the best scenario is that you have 
all your cells in good shape, but what is damaged is the BMS. In that case, you can recover all the cells in a battery pack. Also, it may be the case that you have one or two cells damaged and they will not give enough voltage or they are overheating and the BMS detects that situation and cuts the power so you can no longer use your battery but only a few cells are in bad shape. Let's check for example this battery. Remember that lithium ion cells must be at a voltage range which the maximum is 4.2 volts and the minimum is around 2.5 volts. If one cell or more have less than 2.5 volts, maybe they are damaged. It is not always the case. And if the battery is at a higher voltage than 2.5 volts, we can say almost certainly that the battery is in good shape. But it is not always the case. We need to test them individually. But let's see, the first two cells are at 3.9 volts. I am almost sure that these two cells are in good shape. The other two, 3.92 volts, almost good. And the last pair, 1.32 volts. This is the reason that this battery failed, because these two are at a very low voltage. The BMS detected the low voltage and disconnected the power. Now, here we have four good cells. We need to check them, but they must be good. And two cells that may be bad. We also need to check them and maybe we can still use them. We can revive these cells. So, here in this case, a bad battery pack, you can still use at least four of them. Of course, don't expect that the batteries that you recover from these packs behave like new. They will certainly have lost some of the capacity. This one, for example, are batteries that have a nominal capacity of 2600 milliamp hour when they are new. We need still to check them in detail, but they must be at a lowest value of capacity. Maybe they are 2200 or, or 1800, but the capacity will be not the same as new. However, they are still usable for many, many projects. And these other two that have a low voltage, also we need to check them in detail and see if we can revive these two cells that are at low voltage. But that will be for a forthcoming video. For today, that's all. I hope you liked this video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for coming and see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>